SCP-001, Scranton's Proposal, UIU File 0041, Altered High School Building in Redacted, Confirmed in Almighty 3, Object Class 53, Highly Intrusive, Unknown Capabilities, Unknown Nature. Secure Containment Protocols. Under no circumstances should any personnel attempt to enter C4, uh, CA3 or communicate with the uh, persons inhabiting it. However, any person known to have been inside CA3 at any point must be detained and interrogated. A direct military assault on CA3 has been deemed unfeasible at this point due to the unknown capabilities of the entity or entities by which it is controlled. Note, this is a summary and does not contain all information relevant to CA-3. For detailed information regarding CA-3, see UIU Files 0042-0218, through 0218. Director Redacted. Known Information The Unusual Incidents Unit was alerted to CA-3's existence on September 7, 1954, when the students attending Redacted High School reported that the interior of the building was vastly different than it had been at any point in the past. Upon discovery, CA-3 exhibited several unusual, if not inherently paranormal, traits. Nearly all walls in the facility have been replaced with steel reinforced concrete, although several rooms were constructed of other materials for no readily apparent reason, all exterior windows have been covered from the inside. All students' desk, personal effects, textbooks, and other materials expected of a public high school were completely absent. Lockers were still, lockers were still present, albeit significantly smaller and constructed of stainless steel. The arrangement, location, and size of the rooms and facilities did not match the blueprints for the school. Often rooms would exhibit seemingly random modifications, although the number of changed rooms is currently unknown. No fewer than 17 electronic computers were, were found, each of which were made use of the state-of-the-art magnetic core RAM prior to its classification as confirmed anomaly redacted high school and no computers. All files on the computers are inaccessible and the computers themselves are firmly bolted down. The auditorium is inaccessible due to a large steel wall completely blocking the doorways. Attempting to move or damage this barrier has been ineffective. The extent and purpose of the barrier are unknown as, of, as are the contents of the auditorium. The team sent into CA3's interior to do a complete survey, Team CA3-05, did not return, return, nor did a second team, Team CA3-06, tasked with locating the first team. The facilities are currently under lockdown pending new containment protocols. Update. 23 days after initial recovery, guards reported white noise animating from CA3, the volume of which increased near its auditorium. Five hours later, the white noise stopped, although the sound of voices was audible from the interior of CA-3. Upon further investigation, it was found that the buildings are now contained a large number of persons, any of whom appeared to be wandering aimlessly through the facility. Notably, each individual was physically identical to a member of Team CA-3-06, despite the inhabitants of CA-3 vastly outnumbering the members of Team CA-3-06. Attempts to interview or detain the inhabitants were thwarted by classified. The 12 members of Team CA-3-05 were not found. In addition to the ever-mentioned, the inter interior layout of CA-3 had changed significantly since the previous investigations. No mechanisms which could explain this has been identified. Update. 
Three months after a previous incident, white noise was again heard emanating from the auditorium. This time, the dis decision was made to investigate immediately. It was found that most of CA-3-2, the destination given to the inhabitants of CA-3, had gathered near the doors of the auditorium, a, a circular hole roughly six feet in diameter had formed in the steel barrier. Although the interior was not visible at 0, 3, and 1, 0 hours, an item resembling a classified emerged from the hole and was carried away by an in inhabitant. The item was placed in one of the classrooms, which had not previously been observed to open. This process continued for upwards of eight hours, with a new item being produced once every three minutes. Most were seen entering a different room or locker, although insufficient personnel were available to track all items. A further investigation revealed that most, if not all, items produced exhibited anomalous properties themselves. A significant portion of CA 3 2 were involved in either guarding items produced collectively CA 3 3 or performing various tests on them. Update. Two days after the previous incident, three identical armed guards appeared near each entrance to CA-3. Further attempts to enter the building were futile, as these guards have, have consistently overpowered all teams sent to enter CA-3, regardless of injury or relative level of armament. Note. Reports gathered during the two days prior to the guard manifesting outside of CA-3 appear to confirm that CA-3-2 is following standard UIU protocol regarding the items produced by the auditorium. Their knowledge of the UIU, uh, UIU standard procedure is consistent with that of Team CA-3-05. Update. During UIU's tracking of CA-3, uh, C6, two men identical to Agent Dixon, a member of CA 3 06, emerged from a parked car and forcibly detained this is CA 6, dragging him into a car and driving away. Tracking the vehicle for the next eight hours revealed that it was driving directly to CA 3. Before an arrival, the vehicle drove directly through the front doors, which the cars had opened shortly before their arrival. CA-6 has not been recovered. UIU file 0042. Message received from CA-3. On May 15th, 1965, the following message was transmitted in Morse code from CA-3 on standard UIU communication frequencies. Sensitive data has been classified in the beginning of each sentence has been capitalized, but the message has not otherwise been changed. Hello, we are the O5 Council, and we secure, contain, protect. We have been shown to do it, and it would be nice to be friends. It is nice to have been a part of your excellent, but it is best that with superior resources given, greatness, we will continue. We will control containment. Our sincerest apologies regarding guards and containment, workers and secrets kept needed. The time and weights we apologize. Radio blocked by one SCPR2. Expect an expansion soon for we spaces for auto away from the auditorium. Okay, but unwanted. Eight hours later, the following transmission was received. Expanded now, CD redacted federal building. It is now a functional need doctors, guards, D men recruiting. Anomalies found in further possibly international researching, of course, possible. International may be days, weeks to do. Further, we 05 are aware, sorry to 06 missed, that legible barely, but go between auditorium not redacted. 
Goodbye and luck for your troubles. For further information, see UIU file 0 redacted. Altered Federal Building and redacted. Confirm anomaly 10.